Hey, this is Cody from Iron Live. I'm going to show you how to make GL accounts today. And so the first thing we're going to do is go into General Ledger and then go to the GL account detail screen. From here, we're going to click the Segments button and it's going to load all of our primary accounts location and line of business if you have that. We're going to start in a primary account and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And we're going to start in the code field. Now, this is going to be your primary account number. I'm going to use 7999. Um, want to make sure that it's the same length. Five is everything else. It has to be the same length. So then I'm going to hit tab and go here. Now I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it miscellaneous expense. And then I'm going to get into the account group. The account group is for your reports, it especially comes into play in your financial reports if you're using the template, and those are based on uh, groups saying, okay, everything in this group should be presented on this line. So I'm going to check what the other accounts that I have set up, what group they have. That's generally the best way, unless you want to choose something else, you can click down and you can see all the different groups. Now, like I said, all the other accounts in this area are other expense, so I'm just going to type other here. It's going to find a few of them, and I'll go to other expenses. So that's going to give me this group, and then it's also going to give me this type of expense. The type is always um, linked with the group, so you can't edit that field. The type is just the uh, asset, equity, liability, revenue, and expense. It's one of those five. And then the category is, for most of the time, it's going to be general. So I'm going to hit general here. Um, before I actually choose that, I'll show you this list. Um, many of these are system accounts, your AP account, your AP clearing account, the cash account. When it has a category, it is something that is going to make it be able to be used in places that your AP account would be used or your cash account would be used or inventory. But it's also not going to allow you to create a general journal entry to it because we want to have details to back it up. For example, if it's your cash account, we want to be able to have a bank transaction to show there was $200 deposited into the account and that allows us to reconcile. If we don't and we're just making journal entries to it, your cash is not always going to match the details of transactions that went into it. So that's just a quick overview of what these three uh, designations in the system will do. Like I said, we're going to do general. It's usually a good rule of thumb that if you have some accounts that are similarly built, what I would just do is look at the other accounts and see how they're built. You can see a lot of my expenses are set up just other expenses, general and expense. So we're going to stick with that and we're going to hit save. Okay, you can see it's saved. We're going to go to the location. We're going to create a new location and we're going to do 9999 and we're going to call that our New York City location and we're going to save it. So now we have a new location. You do not have to do all of these. I'm just going to go through and show you um, if you're creating a complete account by scratch. So I'll just go ahead and do a line of business as well. Same way, we're going to call it 999 and we're going to say that the line of business is our livestock. Okay, and we'll save that. And we'll go ahead and um, go to build. So again, make sure it says save down here at the bottom uh, because once you go to build, if it's not saved, it's not gonna show there. So we'll hit build. <clears throat> From this screen, you're gonna see your primary accounts on the left, your line of businesses on the right, or your location. So if you have any other segments, again, you might not have line of business, but your location will show up here. So um, you could scroll through this and try and find the account you're looking for. I generally will just go through here and type in seven. You know, that's the account I'm looking for, and I'll check mark it. I'm going to find my new line of business, livestock. Then I'm also going to find my new location, New York City. Now I have three things check marked. If you're creating an account, you ha you have to have something from this list and each list here on the right. Once you have that done, go ahead and hit build. 
it's going to tell you, look, I'm going to create this account. This is going to be the name. And these are how it's going to be structured. If that's correct, you'll hit commit. So one thing I will say on this screen is that if you already have an account built that has the exact, so say I already had this account exactly built, it's going to show as blank. So just note that. I'm going to hit commit. And it's going to say my account is successfully created. Now, a good way to check, we'll close out of all these. You have your full list of accounts here. If you didn't build it correctly, it will not be on this chart of accounts tab. So I'm going to search for it. I'm going to say um, account is 7999. And you can see in the drop down, so we already know that it's a, a built account, but then one last check, you could see it's in this chart of accounts tab. And then this will be now available for you to use uh, throughout the system.